everybody, welcome to Simple Hobby Homesteading. Hi Echo. I am Jenna and you may be wondering why I'm in my jammies, why I'm in my robe and it's because it's early. It's five o'clock in the morning. It's my FabFitFun stuff and so and I got another present too and so we're gonna order or we're gonna um, open those today Whoa. but why I'm in my jammies it's my birthday and so I just want to be in my jammies like all day long and so we're gonna try to make that happen. Shh, I can stay in my jammies if I want. You can't yell at me about that. Um, I'm talking to my dog. <laughs> so, okay, so without further ado, we're gonna open up our winter Fab Fit Fun Box. And everything that oh, I pull out nice. of this box, I will um, put a link to down in the description oh, of this whoa. video. Right below here, there's a little arrow that you can click on and it'll have the description down below. If you haven't subscribed yet to us, uh, or me, I don't know why I keep saying us. If you haven't yet subscribed to me, do that. Just hit the little subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. So, um, all these products will be linked down below. So if you find something that you really want, you really want to try, you can get it for yourself. Put together your own Fab Fit Fun, Fab Fit Fun box. Um, and so she knows she's not supposed to jump up here and so that is testing the limits by even coming up on the paws on the bed. <laughs> sounds really rough this morning. I sound like I've got like a man, like gravelly voice. Okay, we're going to pause the video. I'm going down and I'm going to get some tea. I'll be right back. Okay, I have my tea and already I took a sip and my voice is not as man sounding and so um, as we go along it should get better. It's early. Box. We got our winter box and I've actually had this for a couple days but I want to wait till my birthday to open it because it's like a birthday present but I don't think anything in here is going to compare to what Karen got me. I mean that was amazing. So I did two add-ons this time so you get your regular box you can add things on. Once again this box is $49 um, so let's see I added for like $2 a Shea Raw Organic Shea Butter Jasmine. This little itty bitty tin and all of a sudden I'm not going to do too much close up because I'm going to give some close up pictures. Um, but I don't know why I ordered this because I can make this. I have shea butter. I have jasmine essential oil. I think, I don't know. I think I was intrigued to see the consistency maybe if it's just plain shea butter or if they added something else to it. Um, and you know, to recreate it, I think I was thinking I wanted to recreate this, but it is, um, scoop a small amount and melt it between your palms. Apply to dry healing skin. Can be used on sun damage, skin hair, wrinkles, stretch marks, razor bumps, cuticles, minor burns, and irritations. Um, and Shea is, it's powerful, as the little tin says, it's powerful. Uh, nourishing daily moisturizer, blah, 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 blah. So, oh my gosh, I can't even get it open. I can't imagine, how are you supposed to get this thing open? Literally, I cannot get it open. Because it's so small, there's nothing to grip. I can't, do you twist, oh, you twist it. I thought you just pop it open, you twist it. I'm an idiot. Okay, so I love shea butter. And I'm gonna actually put my palm in because I'm gonna be using my fingertips. Well, actually I'm going to be. Oops, someone's calling. Oh, it's my dad. I should probably answer that. Hold on, I'm answer that, it's my dad. There we go. My dad did the call. Dad did the birthday call. Oh, I love my dad. My dad lives in North Carolina, so I don't get to see him very often, but I love him. Oodles and oodles and oodles. He is the best dad ever. Um, but anyways, okay, so let's get back to our Fab Fit Fun Box. Where were we? Okay, the shea butter thing. Um, I did it. I applied it. I don't know if you saw that because I might have been doing it while I was on the phone with him. I've got some some uh, dryness on my chin I noticed yesterday, so I'm going to put some on there. Um, it's nice. It's actually, it soaks in very, very quickly. It's greasy at first, and all shea butter is super, super, super greasy at first. It's, um, it's really greasy, but then it, it soaks into your skin, like, immediately. Um, and if you're going to get shea butter, don't ever get it from local stores unless it's cheap because um, you can get it online very inexpensively. It's like in stores, they put in these little fancy tins and containers and charge an arm and a leg for it. But you can get it um, in bulk at Wholesale Supplies Plus or Amazon's got some good shea butter too for like a fraction of the price of what you'd get it in a store, like a local store. Although shop local, that's wonderful. I love it. Blah, 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 blah. But anyways, um, shea butter is one of the most overpriced things in the stores. And so, okay, so I also got the Dead Sea Mud Mask. And we're just going to take a look at this quick. We might put it on, we might not. Um, I kind of want to see 
if uh, if there's any mud mask stuff in my Fab Fit Fun box. Um, this is a deep skin cleanser. Oh, I love the jar. Look, it's in one of those neat jars, the old fashioned jars. So it looks like mud, like legit looks like mud. Um, full of minerals that detox by removing toxins. Duh. The mask is best used to eliminate acne, reduce pores, improve elasticity of skin, and remove signs of aging, as well as improving blood circulation to re reduce the appearance of cellulite. So actually, this is awesome. I need this. I need to recreate this. Um, apply a thick layer on the face and under part of the neck, avoiding the eye area. Leave on to dry for five minutes. Remove the mask first by gently rubbing in circular motion for an overall exfoliation, and then wash any excess with lukewarm water and gently pat dry. Recommended to use twice a week and to follow with your favorite moisturizer. So we're going to put, oh, it's got a cute little boomerang spoon thing. Um, I just, I just want to smell it. Okay, it smells really good. And I'll take a close-up picture for you. Um, it smells really good. It reminds me of um, like a cleanser smell, like a simple um, makeup remover cleanser smell. So we're not going to put that on right now because there might be something more exciting like a whole mask kind of thing in the FabFitFun box. But if there's not, then we're coming back and we'll throw some of that on before the end of the video. So let's get into our actual, once again, those were just the add-ons. Hold on, I need tea. Those were just the add-ons, the two add-ons I got um, for a good price. Ooh, it's got calendula in it. So it's got water, Dead Sea mud. See, that's what I couldn't, I couldn't get. I couldn't get Dead Sea mud. I could get Indiana mud, Pigeon Creek mud. I wonder if that's as good as Dead Sea mud. I'm going to have to look at what's in the Dead Sea mud that makes it so good. I'm guessing Pigeon Creek mud isn't going to be as good because we're just downstream from a pig farm. Um, so not saying they put anything in the creek, but you know. Okay, Fab Fit Fun. Woo -woo. We got, what was that noise? That was a weird noise. All right, we got our box. I'm excited. And we got the little catalog. It's not a catalog, actually. It's a magazine. I looked at it last time. And it's got a few things in it, but it's also got little articles and stuff in it. So we have a $60 gift card to HelloFresh. All right, I love to cook, so I don't really um, need HelloFresh. I love to cook. I love to shop. I love to prepare. So I, I definitely will not be using this HelloFresh. So if anybody wants this, let me know in the comments. I'll send it to you. It's yours. It's yours. It's like Christmas four times a year. I'm gifting you $10 off your first FabFitFun box. That's $200 worth of stuff for just $39. Okay, and this is a code. So, um, oh, gift this card to a friend who deserves a treat. If you want to do a FabFitFun box or try it for $10 off, let me know in the comments, and I'll send this to you. I'll mail it to you with our Christmas card this year. So, okay, first of all, FabFitFun, you listened to me. You listened to me, and you gave me a clothing item. I think it's a clothing item. It might be a blanket. Um, this is from Mark and Graham. Mark and Graham. And it's a personalized gift. What is it? Um, Mark and Graham. This is, well, let's just open it and see. I don't know if it's a blanket or like one of those big scarves or how do I even, there we go. <laughs> All right, Mark and Graham. You know what? Well, we'll just, I was gonna say, I might take the pictures. Of, oh, it's, is it a blanket or a throw? I don't know, it's, it's too thin to be a blanket. Is it a shawl? It might be a shawl. Is it a shawl? It's a blanket. It's a, Blanket? It's a blanket, but it's like a thin blanket. That's a really thin blanket. So I'm going to wear it like a shawl. Like a shawl. There we go. I'm going to wear it. Okay, so I've got a sweatshirt, I've got a robe, and now I've got a shawl. And I think my bed heating blanket is still on. Um, my warming blanket. And so I'm going to be warm from the bottom up. So that's wonderful, though. I mean, that's really great. Okay, so I'm going to take pictures as... I don't know. So I'm going to take pictures as we go along because I'm opening... I'm opening these things, um, and yeah, and I don't want them to be uh, all opened and I don't have the picture for you. So I'm going to take the pictures as we go along, so you just have to watch me take a quick picture as I pull everything out real quick. Okay, there we go. Now I know how to take pictures. Yay! Oh, I took the picture and then I put the thing down. Um, an eye mask. Oh, I'm 
mask. I need one of these. I have like dark circles under my eyes because, um, yeah, I don't probably get enough sleep. I don't sleep uh, super long. Like I sleep and then I wake up and then I sleep and then I wake up. I wake up often. Um, and I've done that ever since I had my stroke. And so it's just something that happens and I've lived with it. I can go back to sleep right away, but I still, I get, I develop the dark circles under my eyes because I'm not getting the REM probably that I need. So, oh, I'm glad we didn't put the mud mask on because I want to try these. I want to try these now. So these are nifty. Oh, okay. So I'm going to take a picture of this so you can see what I'm talking about. They're like little things that go underneath the eye. So how to, we don't want to read all this. Hyal hyaluronic acid. Is that supposed to be good for us? But I imagine it just sticks on, right? And it would go the small part here and it gets bigger. So we're going to try these on. So do they have like a sticky backing of some sort? There's like a tray. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's like water in there. Okay, so, okay, that's a liquid in there. All right, so what side goes on my eyes or my face? I probably need to read the directions again. So direct, there's no directions. Oh, yes, how to. That would be the directions. So we need to cleanse your skin and eye area. I did that. Before I started this video, I went ahead and I washed my face. Um, next, we find it's best to remove the film. Just saying. Just saying. We find it. Remove the film before gently applying the mask about one centimeter below each eye. Okay, centimeter. We use inches here in the United States. Um, leave our eye mask to work its magic for 10 to 15 minutes before carefully peeling off the skin. Ooh, that sounds bad. Oh no, peeling the eye mask off the skin. To continue bright-eyed ways, use your. They're very. They're very uh, cheeky in this. To continue your bright-eyed ways, use our eye mask twice a week. Uh, until you've kicked those bad habits or until the end of time, our money's on the ladder. Oh, so they're talking about late nights, too many cheeky wines, and let's not forget those carb-on-carb carb delights can have our peepers looking, well, not so fresh. So what film are they talking about? There's a film. I can't get off a stupid film. I don't even know where the film is. There's no film. They're like, like slimy. Okay, I'm just peeling away the thing. I don't know what film they're talking about. All right, so we're not gonna we're not going to uh, take off the film because I don't know what film they're talking about. So we're going to place this on my eye. Oh, it's cold and refreshing. I don't know how well it's gonna stick. I think maybe you're supposed to like lay back. What film? There's no film. Unless they're talking, I can't get a film off. Am I, I don't, once again, I don't know which side is supposed to be on. Is it the, I don't know. Okay, I feel like that one's awfully close to my eyeball. You know, just the cooling nature, I feel like all the juice is in the pouch still. Like there's like, like all that high, uh, whatever acid is still in the pouch. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to leave them on. And someday I'll, maybe I'll be able to peel that film off. But I don't know what film they're talking about. I mean, you can kind of tell there's a little film on there. But I, I tried to peel it off and I ended up like, um, I was like peeling off the black stuff. So hold on, let me get a quick picture of what I look like. I don't do selfies well, people. I don't do selfies well. Um, so these, I've always wanted these. I've always wanted some of these under eye things. And so I'm curious to see how they work. 10 or 15 minutes, right? All right, so next is Elevate. Oh, they know me. They, okay, Fab Fit Fun, you may have sold me now. You may have sold me, because in that pack of the eye things, I got not just one set, but one, two, three, four, total of five sets of these little eye things. And probably when I figure them out better, um, and actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna swap them, because I think I have right now the side down that was on the outside. And that's not where all the juice was. All the juice was on the bottom part. So yeah, I'm swapping them. I'm swapping them. And I'm putting where the juice was, the bottom part, on my actual eye. So they do actually stick remarkably well. You probably can't be doing jumping jacks with these on. 
I need more tea. They probably, you probably can't be doing jumping jacks with these on, but you can sit upright. You can be watching TV. You can be uh, at your computer. You can be sitting upright. So that's good. These are good. Ooh, this shawl is actually, I think it's a blanket, but we'll call it a shawl. Um, it's actually really nice. Mm -hmm. Snugly warm. Okay, Elevate. Did I take a picture of this, folks? I don't know if I did. So this is two essential oils, eucalyptus and sweet orange. I usually don't like sweet orange, but we'll see. With fractionated coconut oil and jojoba oil. I, I have all of these things. Why am I not making this? This is, what is it? Is it if this is soap, I'm going to laugh. If this is soap, I'm going to laugh because people, I make soap. Wait, no. This is just two essential oils. No animal testing, love it. No artificial ingredients or colors or anything. This is just two straight up oils, essential oils. And these little bottles are good to either gift or use in the, yeah, in the diffusers. So actually, okay, so um, a little bottle of eucalyptus and a little bottle of orange like this would probably be about five bucks um, each. So that's a good little $10 little gift set. And actually, I probably will be gifting that to somebody because we buy our essential oils in bulk. And so I've got so much eucalyptus and so much sweet orange. So we'll probably be gifting this to you. If you get this as a gift from me, don't be offended and uh, just know that I still love you. But um, I'm not going to hold on to it if I don't need it. So next is a jade roller, but that's still good. I mean, that's thank you for putting that in my box, FabFitFun. You, of course, can't know all about me and know that I buy my essential oils in bulk. Um, from Wholesale Supplies Plus, mind you. And I'll put their link in the description because I mention them in a lot of videos. And I love, love their products. Uh, so, oh no, this isn't going to be good, maybe. Celebrity acupuncturist and herbalist. So the herbalist, okay, acupuncturist, I'm scared to death of needles. Um, Sherry Matthews studied, they wouldn't put an acupuncture set in here, no. Sherry Matthews studied on five continents to bring spiritually centered and energetically focused treatments and products to you. Okay, so that's a little bit of mumbo jumbo for me. I don't like that kind of stuff, but this I'm supposed to use daily. I don't even know what this is. A jade roller. Oh, oh, yes. Use daily for two minutes after moisturizing. Gently roll in an upward direction around your face, neck, and under the eyes. Well, you're going to have to wait for under the eyes because I'm doing my eye patch thing. Uh, for a special treat, pop in the fridge for extra cooling effect. Tutorial available at SherryMatthewsAcupuncture.com. So, um, hmm, hmm. okay, so it's small, it's small, let me get a picture of, of this, it's small, oh, I've got that knife in the background, that's scary, it's small, and let's see on my neck, that's not bad, on my chin, that's not bad, yeah, I don't know. What does it do? Oh, it feels good on my jaw. What does it do like though? Hi, Echo. I would use it on you, but then you'd get a dog hair all over it. It feels good on my jaw, like on the muscles of my jaw. You wanna try it? You wanna try it? No, she wants to eat it. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to try it under my eye. See how that works, that's interesting. It's an interesting thing. Do you like it? He will do it on your paw. Oh, she's letting me do it on her paw. There we go. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not really for dogs. Not really for dogs. Um, I, I would never buy that, um, but it's neat. Yeah, it's a neat happy birthday gift. It's a neat little gift, right? I would never buy that, though. Okay, so next we have a treatment mask. I'm getting a lot of stuff on my face. And I think when I filled out the survey, I was like, that's kind of my problem area. That's, that's sad. That's my problem area, my face. I know, I hear you. I'm not going to jade roller you anymore. Okay, so this is intense care for dry and damaged hair. Oh, this is my hair. Okay, so with argon, argon oil. So I put this on my hair in the shower, right? Maybe? Let's see. So this is treatment mask let's take a picture I don't, they, they say mask on it um mask tells me that it would be for my face but they do a lot of hair mask and thing like and things like that so let me smell it 
and let's see here. Oh, they feel. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, once again, kind of an old lady smell, but not as much as that one lotion from that last video. Uh, that is amazing. That is simply amazing. And what I'm going to do with this, um, hmm, is I'm going to apply generously on washed hair, massage into hair and scalp, and leave in for five minutes and rinse well. Um, so, whew, uh, apply generously on washed hair. So I think after you wash your hair, and I almost thought, oh, I can do it. I washed my hair last night, so I can do this now. But I think they want you to have uh, wet hair. Yeah, so I'm going to put this in the shower, and after I wash my hair, then I'm going to put it in. So I'm going to do that today, and I'll let you know how my hair loves that. So that's amazing, because, yeah, my hair gets dry, especially in the winter. So that's pretty amazing. So yay on you. Okay, Hydrate, the Ahava Hydrate. We've had this brand before, and the Hydrate we've had before, too. Uh, it's a cream mask. And so this is a, um, doo -doo -doo. see they say cream mask, but how do you, oh, okay, here we go. Apply once or twice a week, rinse after three to five minutes, or leave all night. Approved for sensitive skin. So we're going to put some of this on, oh, it's got the plastic here. We're going to put some of this on, and then we're going to rinse it off after, well, we won't need to. We won't need to rinse it off until we take our shower today. Why do I keep saying our and we? I don't have to rinse it off. And it sounds like I have multiple personalities. I don't need to rinse it off until I take a shower today. So we're going to put some of the mask. We're going to put that on there. So do you like, I guess you don't rub it in. You just leave it on. I guess. I'm going to take off my thing so that way I can uh, be good. Oh, I'm going to take this off too because I don't want to get... On this blankie. I know I can wash my robe easy, but I don't know if I can wash this blankie easy. So we're just gonna put, oh, I think I got some on my eye patch. That's all right. I'm sorry. You're fine, Nicole. So I'm just gonna put, it smells good. It, it smells fresh, like clean. Um, not old lady, no old lady smell here. And I think that one last video, that lotion smelled old lady-ish, I think, if I remember right. This has got a very fresh and clean smell to it. No old lady smell here. So, okay, so I'm just putting this on my face and then I'll take a little face picture here. All right, so taking a face picture. Oh, it actually helps that I can see it here. There we go. Look at do it. Because that camera is far away, so it's hard for me to see. Echo's like, what are you doing, woman? What are you doing? Oh, get my eye patch. Oh, that one eye. Are the eye patches slipping down? I think they are. Hold on, I'll fix that. One second. Oh, you're fine, Echo. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I need something to wipe my hands on. Oh, a sock. There we go. I can wash that. There we go. And it's clean. It's a clean sock. I have a little basket of laundry right here at the end of the bed. Okay, we got to fix our eye patches. Our eye patches are slipping down. Eh. Okay. Okay, that is in my eye. Oh, eye patch is not sticking as well as it was. How long was I supposed to leave these eye patches on for? Oh, that's good. That's good right there. Uh, 10 or 15 minutes, did it say? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, oh, tried to come off on me. There. Eye patch looking good. Okay, there we go. Eye patch done. Okay. Oh, I am like exhausted. It's like the never-ending oh, box. Oh my. You're fine. I know. I know. You're talking to me the entire time. Oh, dry shampoo. Okay, so I looked for dry shampoo. Oh my. I know. I did echo. And um, then there was a straight iron conversation. I need to post the video of uh, the straight iron. I st okay, oh, let me explain what happened. So I was at church, and I was talking oh, to a friend. Shh. I was talking to a friend, and uh, she, I commented on her hair, how her hair looked so good. And she said, yeah, the, the secret is dry shampoo. I use dry shampoo. And so I said, I've heard, shh, enough. I said, I've heard of dry shampoo. I've never used it. She said, oh, you have to use dry shampoo. I said, I'll look into it. 
And um, I, cause I've heard that it's like the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, and so then I had lunch with another friend a couple days later and she said, no, no, dry shampoo is not where it's at. The straight iron is where it's at. I said, my hair is already straight. She's like, oh, trust me, just get one, use it, you'll see. I did, I did. And I saw, oh my goodness, love the straight iron. So I never went back to the dry shampoo. Um, so I am curious, this uh, dry shampoo, so I haven't washed my hair since last night. So I'm curious to see if I can, if I can use this and get away with not washing my hair today when I go out to lunch with my friend. Um, and so shake well spray eight to 10 inches from scalp. Um, let me move my little snowflake. Where's that snowflake? Yeah, I don't want to get that on the pearl there. Okay, so. Um, shake well. Spray 8 to 10 inches from your scalp. Tossel with fingers or brush through until product is completely absorbed. The result, clean, weightless, healthy hair. So what you do is you just spray. You spray, what was it? That's a lot of directions. 8 to 10 inches from scalp. So like hairspray, right? It's not spraying. Oh, there we go. Okay, is there a product in there? Ooh, it smells good. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, I didn't have the thing. Whoa, that's like a, like a can of air. Like, I did not just say it's like a can of air. It's um, like that spray air. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, okay, so I see. Um, six to eight inches. I don't think I'm close enough to my head there. How much are you supposed to put in? You know the Halloween spray? It doesn't smell good anymore. Okay. I just got most of that in my ear. Okay, so I think maybe, number one, I don't think I shook it enough. Um, okay, so I think, oh, it's getting all in the cream. So there might be a lot of flaws here. Um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm like trying to do this and thing at the same time. You know the Halloween spray, um, spray paint for your hair, what's it called? The hair dye or whatever that's like in the spray paint for Halloween when we were kids. That's what it, it smells like now um, and what it felt like when I was doing it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, I, I put it in and just because I don't know what all more products we have, I am going to put my hair in like a little messy bun kind of thing. Or not a messy bun. Or a bun of some sort there. Yep, see, look, at there's a bun. Um, and we're just going to see what I can see in a mirror. So what's it supposed to do? Because I thought it was a powder. I thought, I thought dry shampoo was a powder. Um, so I guess the aerosol can threw me off. It's, is this how they all come? Let me know in the comments if you use this and if I'm doing it wrong. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I need to get with my friend. I need to get with Cheryl and see if I'm doing this right. I don't know. I need to take a picture of it. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm sorry for my like just complete dumbfoundedness because I think the problem is I expected something totally different and I don't think I'm using it right and I still love how the straight iron works and so I kind of jumped off the dry shampoo boat. So I don't know. I've got issues now. My whole world is just confused now. And so we've got, I don't know what this is. This is Brilliant Eye Brightener. It's a highlighting stick. What's a highlighting stick for your eyes? Shine bright with long-lasting champagne shimmer um, to diffuse lights and define features. Instantly height lights, brightens, and opens your eyes. Well, I can open my eyes just fine. And to use, apply to brow, bone, lids, waterline, corners of eyes. Okay, I know what the brow is. This is the brow. I got that. Right now it's got a cream on it. So I'm not going to... Well, I suppose I could... I could wipe that with my little clean sock. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe my brow. I'm gonna wipe my brows. I don't wanna get, if it's a brush applicator. Okay, so brows, got those, those are clean. Those are clean and ready. Um, bone, bone. What bone are they talking about? Brow and bone. There's a bone under my brow, kind of below it. Maybe that's what they're talking about, that bone. 
Is that what they're talking about? I don't know. Someone who does makeup, help me. Bone. I'm going to assume it's this bone right here. There's like a bone under my brow. Like your eyebrow bone. Yeah. Okay, so that's the bone with lids. Okay, so lids. Okay, I don't have anything on my lids right now, my eyelids. Um, waterline. What's a waterline? What's, where's your, I have no clue where my waterline is. Waterline. And corners of your eyes. Well, the corners. Oh, like right there. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to try. I don't know what the water lines are. Uh, someone in the comments, let me know what water lines are. What the heck is this? Okay. So, eh. Oh, it's a pencil. Okay. We're going to use my little handy fan dandy uh, camera phone here to see what I'm doing so I don't stab myself in the eye. Apply it to the brows. But it's, it's like, uh, is there something on the bottom that I'm not seeing? <gasps> what is that? It's like a little thing. Hold on, I'm gonna take a picture. You can help me. I'm gonna show you in the pictures. This was on the bottom. That was on the bottom. What is that for? What is that even for? It's gotta be, oh, it's a sharpener. It's a sharpener. That's what it's for. It's a sharpener, because this is literally like a pencil. Let me take a picture so you see what I'm talking about. It's like a pencil. Okay, so we need this. This looks like a lipstick pencil, but I know it's not. And actually, it probably doesn't look like a lipstick pencil. Oh, my thingies, my thingies went down again. Okay, that sounded weird. My eye, my eye patches. Oh, when you reset them and that coolness, okay, I gotta get my other hand. When you reset them and that coolness gets reset, oh, that is the most amazing feeling. I love that. Okay, so we need on the brow, On the brow and on the bone. What bone are they talking about? Okay, we're gonna go a little bit below there then. There we go. Ooh, on the brow. So I thought it would like make my brow all colorful, but it's not. On the bone. Oh, the corner of the eye, they said. Get all your eye boogers out. I can't tell if it's doing anything. Oh, it is. It's definitely putting the stuff on because my little pencils. That's kind of dangerous. And then the eyebrows, or the eyelids. We already did the eyebrows. Eyelids. Didn't it say eyelids? Did it say eyelids? Let me make sure I'm doing that right. Lids. It said lids. I never wear eyeshadow, ever. So this is like, this would go over, I bet, over your eyeshadow. I just totally wore that down. Oh, you can just put it back up. There we go. And then sharpen it. Um, that was not anything I will probably ever use. Yeah, no. Probably never. It, oh, look at that. Equipped with a built, it's got a stinking pitcher. Uh, yeah, that's nice. That's interesting. That's something fun to try. That is something fun to try. Okay, so a Frisbee. Is this a Frisbee? Oh, I know what this is. Oh, this is not a Frisbee. If you know what this is, I think it. This is those things. This is from Get Fit with Brooke Burke. Where do we know Brooke Burke from? She's an, is she an actress or just a workout person? Uh, maybe like a fitness model, I'm thinking. I think, yeah, I think these are these things, these like little Frisbee things. I think you can put these on the floor. I think you can put these on the floor or... Uh, for your hands or your feet and do like the that thing, you know. Um, so I put the knife up. Yeah, yep. So like if you're doing, what exercise would that be? Like lunges, like the, the um, um, I don't know. You know, like the lunges. Like the uh, on the ground. Oh, let's try, let's try. So you put your hands, they slide. That's the thing, they slide easily. So let's just put our feet up here. Okay, so yeah. So you get in the push-up position and you're just sliding. Oh, that's a stupid exercise. No, that's it. That one would be, ugh. It's just hard on a bed because the bed's all squishy. But you put them on your feet too and then your feet can do that same motion. Oh, Echo, stop grabbing the box. Yeah, you do them on your feet and your feet. I think that's the, the intended of those. Um, let's double check. Uh, well, she's, ex she's created exclusive videos. Yes, to show you how to use your fitness sliders. 
where he has all kinds of workouts, including cardio, strength, and core. I will definitely, I'll try these for reals. I'll try these. Um, I'm starting to get hoarse again because <clears throat> these might work. You know, these might be cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use these. I'll try these, Brooke. Yep. So that's cool. Yeah, those are good. That's a good, that's a good, hey, I'll try that kind of thing. And they put in the crinkle paper. Good on them. I love a good crinkle paper. And I think that's it. Yes, folks, that's it. So, okay, let me think about this. Is the FabFitFun box worth it um, for today? Let's see. Um, I, I would have to say I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. I'm going in for a third box. Uh, well, the, the first box, I can't really count that. It was like an introductory box. So I'm going in for a second legit box. It'll come in the spring. I'm intrigued. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do it. I like it. I like uh, the surprise aspect of it. I like going through and checking stuff out. Definitely some of the products I said I won't use and I'll either gift to others or I'll probably throw away um, this little pencil thing. If you want it, you saw I already used it, so I'm sorry. But uh, if you want this and you, hi Echo, and you can use this, I'll gift it to you. Um, I'll give it to you. i sorry I already used it. But uh, if, you, if this is something that's your jam, then um, yeah, it's all yours. But um, that's what I should do. I should create a box of all the leftover stuff that I don't want. That's gross, but <laughs> not gross. I guess if no one else is a germaphobe, then I promise my germs are all happy germs and healthy germs. But yeah, so I'm going to do this again. I'm sticking with you, Fab Fit Fun. And I have to apologize. Um, I was very hard on the earbuds I got last time. I said I love, in the video, I said I love them and then I used them. And I think I either posted or talked about it on a later video that they weren't all that. They were horrible. They, they're horrible for phone calls. So you can't really talk very well on them. And the one part where you turn them on and off and adjust the volume is heavy. And so it kind of weighs down the one earbud a lot. Um, but if you just want to use, they have great battery power. Um, if you just want to, or charging power, I should say you charge them. If you just want to use them to listen, they've got great range, um, then they're good. Don't use them for phone calls and stuff like that. They're horrible. But if you just want to use them to listen to your phone without having it on you um, and just still in the same couple rooms or so, I mean, we could, I could go like three or four rooms away and it would be fine. And then it's, they're good. The earbuds are good. And so I'm, I'm giving them a thumbs, not a thumbs down, not a thumbs up. I'm giving them a thumbs sideways. Um, for just earbuds, no uh, intercom talking ability, I'm giving them a thumbs up. Um, mild, mild thumbs up. So that was in that last box. And so I'm sorry, FabFitFun, that I, that I was overly hard on you on those. Um, for what I use them for, they're actually just fine. And so they're good. And so we are done, except I'm going to try a drink. I'm going to go down and get a drink. I forgot to bring it up. And a snack. So I'll be right back. Two seconds. Okay. Woo. I'm back. And I've got a drink. I've got a Clearly Canadian, which, hold on, I'll tell you about that in a minute. We've got, we're going to try Smashmallow Marshmallows and same brand, uh, the Smash Crispy Cinnamon Churro, or it's Crispy Treats. Okay, um, first of all, walked back in this room and it smells so aerosol -y from that, uh, that hair, dry shampoo hair stuff. Um, and I had a brain, just a brain, um, not fart, the better thing, a brain, like a good thing, a brain idea. I had an idea, just a plain idea. Um, I'm going to put this blankie in my truck. And like when I'm waiting for Gunner to come out of YDM or when I'm just somewhere and it's a little chilly, I can wrap up in it and just relax. And I don't know, feel like I live in my truck, I guess, if that's not weird. But okay, clearly Canadian. This stuff, come on now, folks. If you grew up in the 90s, you know you drank Clearly Canadian. It was so good, and I did not know that they, excuse me, brought it back. Let me take a picture. Did not know that they brought it back, but they have. I saw it in the store, and we're going to try it and see if it's as good as we remember, and I'm excited. So Clearly Canadian, it's a sparkling water with probably a ton of sugar. Um, my favorite was, I thought they had a strawberry, but I couldn't find that. So I've got a raspberry here, a country raspberry. Mm, okay. Not only is it as good as I remember, I think it's better. 
Because I don't think I liked sparkling water back then. Is it? Yeah, it is carbonated. Very mildly carbonated. And it's made in Ontario, Canada. And it's carbonated Canadian spring water. Pure cane sugar. So that's the thing. It's a lot of sugar. And it is. It's a ton of sugar. Mmm. 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 But there you go. That's what those, uh, that's what these are good for. They're good little, um, Oh, they're good little, uh, excuse me, clearly Canadian holders. My phone is ringing, that's why my attention was averted there for a minute. Smash Mallows. Okay, so these are marshmallows, and the story behind these is we were heading to Wisconsin one day, and we stopped, uh, oh, why we stopped? Okay, first of all, backing up. We are heading to Wisconsin. We left, um, and we get about halfway into town, and I realized I forgot my sunglasses. I can't live without my sunglasses. Um, I've got some light sensitivity issues, and so I really need sunglasses, especially for road tripping. And so my husband said, well, I don't wanna go all the way back home. And I said, well, let's stop at CVS and grab a new pair of sunglasses, and we can grab some snacks, some road trip snacks on the way. So he said, that's a great idea. So we stopped at CVS, got me some new sunglasses, and they had, and I gathered all my arms up with uh, snacks, road trip snacks, mostly candy, some savory chips and things like that. And my hands were full, my arms were full, like I could not fit anything else. And of course, I'm not getting in a basket because I never intended to get that much. And so my arms are completely full. We get up to the, um, close to the register and they had these smash mallows on clearance. And there are these marshmallows. And I said, oh, those look amazing. Can you grab those for me, honey? And because my hands were completely full. And he looks at me and he's just like, I think you have enough snacks, sweetie. And I was just like, oh, no, I want the marshmallows. And I like almost threw a little hissy fit, like pitched a fit in the middle of CVS because he wouldn't grab the marshmallows. So he did not, like he stuck to his guns. He looked at my arm full of sugar and stuff and salt and just junk food. And he simply said, no, fine. Kind of like if, if you want to get them, you know, drop something and get them. But you, you've got a plenty there. And so we didn't get them. We did not get them. Well, here's to you, sweetie. I love you, but I was in Fresh Time and I had a cart. So I loaded these puppies in there because they were there. So you can get these at Fresh Time. I don't know if you can still get them at CVS. I think they were on clearance there, so I'm not sure if they still carry them. So Smash Mellow. We're going to try these mint chocolate chip. And they've got different kinds. Mint chocolate chip. Mmm. 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 Those are yummy noises because that's amazing. That is amazing. Natural mint flavor and spirulina to add the color. So when I'm talking about synthetic colors, actual spirulina, and I think that's supposed to be good for you. I think it's found in the sea, isn't it? Isn't it seaweed something? Mmm. It's green. Mmm. Those are good. Yummy noises. Mmm. Okay. Smash mellow for the win. That's a win. I will. Mm hmm. I will forever have a bag of smash mellows in my home. Hopefully. Mm hmm. Clearly Canadian. I will not buy again because even though I love it, it's the same thing as pop. It's the same amount of sugar as pop. Or not, maybe not the same amount of sugar, but still a ton of sugar. And I'll just stick with my regular sparkling waters. Um, and so, yeah, I'm sorry. Clearly Canadian, I'm not jumping on board. If I want to walk back memory lane, I will definitely grab a Clearly Canadian and drink it. Because um, it's good. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not jumping on that bandwagon. Wigan. The band Wigan. Okay, so these are adorable. These little smash Rice crispy things. They are individually wrapped, so that's kind of neat. So they are individually. So I'm going to be sending some of those out to you folks because you guys need some smash mallow wonderfulness. Now this uh, taste is a cinnamon churro taste, and it shows real cinnamon on the top. I see that. Yep, I see that. Let's try this. Mhm. Mm it's a rice krispie treat. Same thing as a rice krispie treat, but you add some cinnamon. Mm. It smells funky though. Like it smells chemically. Hmm. 
And you guys, this does have gelatin, as I bet the Smash Mallows do too. And you might say, yeah it does. You might say, Jenna, how can you eat gelatin? You've got an alpha gal allergy, which is that mammal allergy. Gelatin is derived from mammal. Um, for some reason, folks, I am not, um, I'm not responding to gelatin or dairy anymore. The allergist doesn't know why. I still test, very allergic to both. Um, but for some reason, I'm not reacting to dairy or, or gelatin. So I'm eating them in, in small quantities. Um, I'm not eating a bowl of jello. I'm not that crazy. But it's having no issues with my system. So, hallelujah. So it's kind of a weird thing. We don't know why. Because the numbers still show very high for being allergic to it. But, yeah. Even though I don't like this, I would never buy these again. The taste is off. Unless, maybe it's a cinnamon churro taste. Maybe that's the taste that's off. Um, but yeah, they did something wrong with that flavor profile. It's not a consistency issue. It's a taste issue. They did something wrong with that taste, with that flavor profile. Because you can't mess up the consistency of a Rice Krispie Treat. That's like, you'd have to really try for that. So, yeah, there's something up with the, um, the flavor profile of that uh, cinnamon churro. But I haven't had breakfast yet because it's like 5 in the morning. And so I'm going to eat the whole thing for sure. Because I don't want to be wasteful either. And I'm going to be so sugared up from this, uh, this clearly Canadian. It's a good day, a good way to start my day. Isn't that crazy? Okay, folks, we did it. We got our snack in, got our drink in, got our fun in. Still, though, I like Karen's box better than the Fab Fit Fun box. So, if you guys want to send me anything to try, more power to you. It's P.O. Box 91, Boonville, Indiana, 47601. Have a blast. Send me your Christmas cards or send me a letter and tell me about your day. Just send me your funny story. Tell me about your day. I'll read it on a video. We'll all have a good laugh and we'll enjoy you. So I think I'm done with these and these were fun and we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll do a picture later today and see, I don't know, if any uh, eye reduction happened like the bags under the eyes. So I love you guys and we will see you later. And if anyone else has a birthday today, happy birthday. So bye-bye. See you later.